You are about to play Bible Escape Room. You're going to start in a giant mansion, and you must get out of the front door before time runs out. But to do that, you're going to have to unlock several doors. Each door needs the correct answer to a Bible riddle for it to unlock. Are you ready? Let's go. You've got 20 seconds to answer this first riddle. I disobeyed God's one wish and ended up in the belly of a fish. Who am I? I'm Jonah. Great job. You made it to the second door. You've got 20 seconds to escape. I took down a giant, and everyone said I was brave. But now, my friends and I are hiding in a cave. Who am I? I'm David. Impressive! You made it past the first two riddles. But there's another locked door. You've got 20 seconds to escape. I was famous for being strong. But that only lasted while my hair was long. Who am I? I'm Samson. Well done. You're making good progress, but we've got to keep going. Here's another locked door. You've got 20 seconds to escape. I prayed when the law said no one could pray, and God kept the hungry lions away. Who am I? Daniel. Wow! You're getting good at this. But can you get past this next door? You've got 20 seconds to escape. I risked my life to ask the king a question. And then I told the king about Haman's deception. Who am I? I'm Esther. Great work. These are getting harder. Can you figure out this next riddle? You've got 20 seconds. I was spending the night chained up in jail when an angel broke me out without even posting bail. I'm Peter. You're so close. There are only two doors left. Here's the next riddle. You've got 20 seconds. When my son was born, I had to lay him in the hay. Now we celebrate his birthday on Christmas Day. Who am I? I'm Mary. This is it. You've made it to the last door. You're so close. You've got 20 seconds to answer this last riddle and break out. In my father's house, there are many rooms. You can have one because I broke out of the tomb. Who am I? I'm Jesus. Great job! You broke out! You really know your Bible characters. Way to go!
kids space today guys hope you're having an awesome weekend great start uh, to your weekend it's been in God's Word and we have another exciting skit for you by no budget productions so let's check out our escape room scenario today this is the game master you only have three minutes left to escape the room find the way out or you or doomed. Really? That's all you have to say to us this time? No hints, no clues. I get it, it's hopeless. We're never winning this game. We can't give up now. We're on the winning streak. One time, one time, we got lucky. Oh no, that was not luck. That was all me. <laughs> Thank you, Shauna. But we're not getting out of this one. I, I don't understand. There's no hidden panels, no codes, no secret riddles, no messages, nothing. Just solid walls, a ceiling, this floor with arrows on it, and the door we just walked through. This is the worst escape room ever. Oh, settle down, both of you. There has to be a way out. How do you know? Because this is an escape room. Duh. It's an amusement attraction. We pay to be locked in here, play pretend, and find our way out. There has to be a way out. I mean, otherwise, what's the point of coming in here? Maybe this one's broken, and they forgot to put it in an escape room. Yeah. There's always a way out, just like when we're tempted to sin. What? Did you say sin? Oh, come on. You guys haven't heard escaping sin meant 
mentioned like every time we come in here? Come to think of it, I have. God always makes a way for us to escape a temptation. He won't let us stay trapped forever. He even sent Jesus to die for us so he could help us escape sin once and for all. There's always a way out. Just like, just like that door. No, that's the door we came in. We can't go back out. It can't be that simple. Oh, let's try it. Congratulations, you win. I don't believe it. Amazing. There's always a way out, a way out of the room, a way out of temptation. And don't you forget it. You know what? Thank you, Game Master. And thank you, Shauna. Thank you, Jesus. This has been fun, guys. Uh, but maybe next week we go laser. Can a young man keep his way pure by guarding it according to your word? How can a young man keep his way pure by guarding it according to your word? With my whole heart, I seek you. Let me not wander from your commandments. With my whole heart, I seek you. Let me not wander from your commandments.
Okay, guys, let's head into our lesson today. You'll see behind me, um, we'll have up there for you our scripture reference. So make sure you grab a Bible so you'll be ready to turn there for us when we get to that part. Well, escape rooms are unique in their own way. And we've had fun um, in this series looking at different escape rooms. And I know some of you have got to experience escape rooms and there's lots of different themes and lots of fun things about each one that makes uh, each room really special and unique. Um, but some are really suspenseful. Um, some are old, might seem a little scary, but the scenarios can vary, you know, from being in some kind of lab, or it could be a zombie apocalypse, to maybe escaping the island before the volcano erupts. Um, but there are a few things that all escape rooms have in common. And we've already kind of addressed some of that. And they all contain clues designed to help us make our escape. They all have a ticking clock. They all warn us when the time is running out. Most important of all, every escape room has an escape route. If they did not have such a thing, well, there really wouldn't be a whole lot of point in playing in an escape room. There's always a way out so that we can have a chance to win in this escape room experience. So as we've talked about escape rooms in this series, we've also talked a lot about temptation. We've learned to recognize the clues when temptation comes our way. We've learned to read and memorize the code, which we find in the Bible. We've learned to run just like Joseph. And today we want you to remember one more thing. There is always a way out. There is always a way to escape from sin. God promises us in his word that he will not allow us to be caught in an escapable situation. Things may look bleak. They may seem very difficult, but they are never hopeless. This is where I'd like for you to grab your Bibles and turn with me. The reference is behind me. Um, we're going to 1 Corinthians. So you're going to go Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, past our gospel books. Acts, where we learn about the church history, Romans, where we have our letter, Paul wrote to the people of Rome, and now in Corinthians, we have his letter that he wrote to the people of Corinth. So find the big 10, and then look for the little 12 and 13, and we're going to read a couple of verses today. So a little bit shorter reading for you today. So 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 12 through 13. Follow along with me. So if you think you are standing firm, be careful that you don't fall. No temptation has seized you except what is common to man. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will provide a way out so that you can stand up under it. So Paul is writing to the people of Corinth these encouraging words that no temptation um, is too great that God won't provide a way for us to escape. The Bible makes it clear that we have all been trapped by sin and we are all born into a world where it is full of sin. We all face temptations and we all have at times given into temptation. The Bible is full of real live people just like you and me that have given us examples who have fought um, the battle against temptation and done what is right. It also shows us some examples of people who did not fight the temptation and how that affected their life and those around them. It reminds us over and over that the punishment for sin is death. In Romans, we read that the wages of sin is death. Well, the New Testament changes everything for us. It reveals an escape route, not just from day-to-day -day temptation, but from sin and death. God sent his son Jesus to die for us. If we give our lives to Christ, God will forgive our sins. He will help us escape the punishment we deserve, and he gives us a new life in heaven. We are all trapped in the same escape room, so to speak, of sin. We all face the same temptations that men, women, and kids have faced from the beginning of time. When you are tempted, remember to call on God, to pray, to focus on some scripture, 
and God will give you a way out. It isn't always easy to find our way out of an escape room. If it was easy, then it wouldn't really be a whole lot of fun. We wouldn't be paying to do it. And there's just no challenge to it. But there is always a way. And it will take some time, some patience, some teamwork, and some cleverness to find. But things are never hopeless when we're playing the escape room games. Sometimes we can feel trapped by temptation. When peer pressure sets in and our friends make us feel like this is what we need to do and that we feel pressured and like there's no escape and so we give in. Sometimes we think there's no other way out. So maybe we might tell a little lie, or we might cheat, or we might go along with the crowd or do the wrong thing. But we always have a choice. We always have a way out. And if we trust in Jesus, he will show us the way. We know we can trust Jesus to save us from temptation because he's already shown us the escape route from sin. Remember how we talked last week about Jesus and the temptations in the desert? What did he do? He focused on God's word. He focused on the truth. Satan likes to present lies as truth, but Jesus is truth. God's word is truth. And he fought Satan with God's words. Jesus is our example in how to win in temptation and how to fight sin. Escape rooms are a fun way to challenge ourselves and test the bonds of our friendships as we've seen in our skits. But escape rooms are only a game. Sin is not a game. It's the thing that separated us from God and sentenced us from eternal separation from him. However, if we take Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we can have our sins forgiven. We can escape to a new life and eternal life. Ask God to help you escape from sin. Pray and he will deliver you from the peer pressure or the things that are tempting you or the people. Believe in Jesus and you will receive the gift of eternal life. So I hope that you will remember our memory verse. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sit against you. It's an important verse for us to learn as kids and as adults as well. So I hope you've enjoyed our escape room series and uh, let's check out this next section um, with our minute to win it games. Hey guys, welcome to our challenge today. We've got Colton, Nora and Clay gonna do some minute to win it games for you, but to figure out who's gonna go first, second and third uh, for the competition, we're gonna have them rock, paper, scissors it. So Nora and Colton are gonna go first. We're gonna see who's gonna be first up for the challenges. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, <laughs> scissors, shoot. Okay. Nora All right, first. Nora's first, and now between Colton and Clay to see who will be second and third in the lineup for our Minute to Win It games. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Come on. <laughs> second. Second will be Clay. Third, third will be Colton in the competition. All right. Good job. Let's get it going. All right, guys. So we're getting ready for our first round of Minute to Win It games. Nora's getting ready here. She's putting some Smarties in a container. She has a set of chopsticks, and what she has to do is try to get as many Smarties on her plate in a minute. We'll see who gets the most Smarties on their plate with chopsticks. Will it be Nora? Will it be Colton? Will it be Clay? We'll find out who's got chopsticks down. Are you ready? Okay. All right, let's let those games begin. <laughs> All right, are we ready? All right, here we go. All right, go for it. Woo yep, this is what I expected. You got this. Go, Mr. Clay. This is for your youth group. <laughs> Chopsticks. I've actually witnessed her eating Chinese with chopsticks. 
And um, yeah, like she's amazing. You would not believe that she was a uh, family roots from Wisconsin, the way she handles those chopsticks. Are you saying you'd starve if you had to eat with chopsticks? I just eat with my hands. <laughs> Hey, Vikings use hands, right, Clay? Mm -hmm. Okay, you feel great. Go, Clay. It's a hidden talent we didn't know he had. I didn't know I had it either. <laughs> no. Fine. All right. Good job. Count up your smarties. Tell us how many you got there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20. 20. All right. Yay. All right. Time. Woo. How many did you get there, buddy? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, <laughs> nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Twenty-one. I did better than I thought I would do. <laughs> All right, how many you got there, Paul? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Awesome! Woohoo, nine! Well, I think we know who the winner is here this round is Clay, Definitely then Nora, not. and Colton. Good job. Let's get ready for our next round of Minute to Win It Games. So, for our second round of Minute to Win It Games, this is something pretty simple you can play at home. And so it's the last one you could do with your family as well. But Nora's going to take pennies, and she's going to try to get as many pennies as she can in this jar in a minute. So we'll see who can collect the most change when this is done. All right, Nora, are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. All right, here we go. All right, it's Clayton Parker, boys and girls. Here we go. All right, guys, it's time for Colton. Let's see what he can do. Is he going to... Be the one that comes through and like, you know, gets the most pennies in the jar. Time will tell. Go Colton. Well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that might be an idea to stop the whole bunch. I think we found Colton's minute to win it game. So if you're at a carnival and you need somebody to throw pennies on plates to get you a prize, get Colton to help you with that. Go Colton! can do here with water pong.
pong balls in the basket. Oh. 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 All right. How many we got in there? How many we got in there, Nora? Okay. Um. One, two, three, four, five. Five. All right. Good job. Give her a hand, everybody. Time. All right, Mr. Clay. How do we do over there? Amber sent you two messages. One, two, three, four. 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 Oh. Oh. Four. Ooh. Awesome. Good job. Oh, Colton, how many did you get in there, buddy? Uh, I think I got three. Yeah, three. Three. All right. So we have Nora wins this round of Minute to Win It. Awesome. All right, congratulations to your Minute to Win It. Uh, Clay with his chopsticks. He's amazing. And then Colton, he's going to be a millionaire. He collected all the pennies today. And then Nora, yay, with water pong, showed us her mad skills with ping pong balls. All right, thank you guys so much. Bye-bye. You are faithful